everyone this is Tanvir back with another Linux Mint desktop customization video and you have already seen the end results and I hope you liked it so let's just start this customization so here I have the project file and you can find the link of this project file down in the description of this video so let's go ahead and quickly extract the project file and then go inside the project file and then right click on an empty space click on open in terminal and then I'm going to run this script but first I'm going to make it executable so type and then run the script now this is going to take a few minutes so let's just wait for it to finish so what this script will do is it will install all the packages that we need to customize the desktop alright guys so while it is doing its thing so let me just quickly explain a little bit what this customization is about so we're gonna have three conkey themes for this customization and basically this is a three conkey themes bundle so you're gonna have three conkey themes instead of one which i usually have in my customization videos and i hope you like it guys all right guys so let's go ahead and download all these themes and i have the links over here so let's go ahead and copy paste them to the browser Alright guys, so let's press enter in the terminal, press enter again. Alright guys, so once I have copied the links to the browser, let's go ahead and download them one by one. So for this Capuchin GTK theme, so I'm going to get this one. And this is the Groovebox GTK theme, so scroll down and I will simply get the first one. and then get this as well so i'm going to get the light one get the icon pack download the font just basically download them one by one and from here I'm looking for a wallpaper which is going to be this one guys so click on it right click click on save image click on save all right and from here as well click on download press y in the terminal and press enter okay so click on download here and click on download click on download all right guys so i think all the downloads are done so i can close the browser and then go to my downloads directory and then simply extract all of this right click click on extract here 
Okay, so once I extract all the files, I can delete all these zip files. All right, so once I delete the zip files, now let's go ahead and open a new window. And here, right click on empty space, click on show hidden files, and then scroll down, go to dot themes. And here, I will drag and drop the themes that I have just downloaded. So one of them is this one, Groovebox. Just drag and drop it there. And the next one is Capuchine. Just drag and drop this one. Weiser Light. And after that, go back, then go to dot icons. And here I'll just drag and drop the icons back like that. and then this one and we have another icon pack which is these are all right guys so once you have done that let's go to my downloads directory here and then click on this wallpaper pack that i've just downloaded and i actually just need one wallpaper which is this one copy it go to your home directory then go to walls and then go to walls 4 and then paste it over here like that and then go to downloads again and i don't need that wallpaper pack so i can delete that and then copy this wallpaper and then go to downloads i mean home directory walls and then go to walls 1 paste it over here okay and the uh, final wallpaper which is this one now there are a little bit of work that i have to do and that is this wallpaper this is actually wallpaper pack so there are multiple wallpapers inside this uh single one so i can simply extract it so i'm gonna show you how so let's just wait for it to finish the work in the terminal first and then i will show you how because i need some packages to make that happen and after the installation command is inside the script so let me just let it finish the script and then i will show you how to extract all those wallpaper from this all right guys so once this is done i can close the terminal and then right click on an empty space inside the home i mean downloads directory and then click on open in terminal and over here i'm going to type heif dash convert space and then i'm going to put the name actually let's let's just give it a simple name so that is easy to type you can type the name of the file and then space and then let's call it wall.png press enter and as you can see that it is extracting all the wallpapers all right so once i've done that i can delete this dot heic file and then copy all of these four uh wallpapers new wallpapers that i've just extracted and go to walls 2 and then paste it over here and i'm basically done here and then search for startup applications and then click on this add icon and then click on custom commands click on browse go to downloads and go to my project file which is this one and then simply select this one uopener.sh and i'm going to name it you click on add and i'm going to add another custom command go to downloads go to my project file and then select Glava start and then name it Glava. Click on add and then I will search for U launcher. Add that as well. Now I can close it now. Simply restart. All right, guys, once I have restarted, now click on one of these buttons and it will automatically apply all the conky themes for us and also change the wallpapers 
so each time i press this buttons is gonna change the conky theme and the wallpaper for us so if i press uh, the second button it's gonna take me here and for this third one this is our setup so yeah guys and not only that let me just show you so not only it will change the wallpaper it will actually change the themes as well so this first one is gonna apply all the themes and icons for us so let's go ahead and edit the panel move the icons to the center all right and let's make it a little bit more clean all right guys so this is our first setup if i press the second button and this is our second setup and for the third button this is our third setup so it, this is the con key setup and uh, this is for the these are for the workspace so this is the first this will take you to the first workspace this will do the second third fourth so this is how you can change workspace these are all the buttons for that and let me just quickly show you so there are a few more other buttons over here so this first button is a color picker app so you can select pick color and then you can pick any color and it's going to show you the code for that so this is uh, actually useful if you are coding and uh, if you are a developer so it's kind of useful so i thought i should put it over here because uh, i use it a lot uh, especially when i am making these uh, conky themes so i just need to check the color codes that is why so the second one is going to actually if you click on it it's going to actually stop the rain and as you can see over here and for this third button is gonna actually uh, show you this particle animations so th these are all of these particles flying around and if you click it click on it again it's gonna go away so i thought uh, i should put a separate buttons for this animations because i know you're not gonna use it all the time because it takes up some processing power so you can click on this button so it's gonna start raining Click on this button it's gonna show some of these particles flying around and you can have both of them at the same time as well so yeah guys and let me quickly sh and let me show you how glava looks so let's just play something all right guys so this is the glava visualizer so if you play something it's gonna sh show a visualizer over here and uh, for this third con key and the second con key you will notice that it's going to show the title of this uh, of the song or the video over here over here so yeah guys there's some a little bit of animation now here's the thing guys so when are you you're using lava so it's going to take up a lot of uh, processing power so i wouldn't recommend this that you run lava so you can just simply pick you lava like that and you will notice that our processing is gonna go down very quickly and if I turn off the rain so it's gonna go down to 2% and 1% so yeah guys so although this rain rain effects and this particle effects doesn't take up much processing power although it does as you can see it takes up some power as well but Glava is the main culprit so it will take up more power so if you want to run Glava again, you can type Glava dash dash desktop and it will show the Glava again. So yeah guys, there was a little tip and there's another thing that you can do, go to start applications and then from here you can actually deselect this Glava so that Glava doesn't run every time you start your system and this way it's not going to slow down your PC. So yeah guys and except that everything else doesn't take up much processing power such as this con key informations and these e widgets uh, so you can just simply turn off these animations and you're good to go and you can add some applications over here so let me just quickly add some applications all right guys so i put some random applications over here and this is our terminal so this is how our terminal is gonna look like and actually you can all right guys so this is it i hope you like this video if you liked it make sure to 
subscribe and by the way guys uh, let me quickly show you how you can change uh, this these all of this text so you can go to first show it in first then go to dot config and then go to conky and then scroll down and then click on this scrolling text and here uh what you type here is gonna show over here so you can type anything so you can type a name or a quote or anything and you will see that it's gonna have this animation effect on the right side so yeah guys i thought it, it yeah, i should include that so yeah guys all right guys so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the support and i really appreciate this guys let me know uh, which uh, linux distro i should be working with next and let me know your favorite uh, linux distro as well so yeah guys uh, thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video